Hi everyone, Julia here. Today we are going to have a look at a simple e-commerce websites builder. We are going to have a look at Shopify. So if you are looking to create an online store, then stick with me. I am going to break down what makes Shopify so popular, what features you can expect from its platform, and whether or not this is the right choice for your business. By the end of this video, you'll be equipped with all the knowledge needed to make an informed decision about your next steps. Now, before we get started, if you are already looking to sign up for Shopify, you'll find the best current deal linked in the description. It'll take you to a three day free trial and the best current offer of only $1 for the first three months. Aside from that, I have also prepared a super valuable free resource to help you in your e-commerce journey. It's a digital guide bundle featuring a marketing guide and a branding guide. You'll find both of those resources available for free in the description. And I will be talking more about that resource at the end of this video, so make sure to stick around for that. Now, without further ado, let's dive into the Shopify review. So what makes Shopify so known as one of the best e-commerce platforms? Well, for starters, it's very user-friendly and absolutely powerful at the same time. The dashboard and theme editor have a very intuitive design and simple made navigation, which makes it accessible for users without any technical expertise. Now, despite the interface being easy to use, Shopify still offers a very diverse range of features. We're going to break it down real quickly by having a look at the side menu here in the dashboard. We've got orders, which is where you're able to view all past sales, including customer information, when the order was placed, what was sold, for how much, payment and fulfillment status, and the delivery method, which is the type of shipping you've charged for. We've also got draft orders if you'd like to manually place an order to a customer, shipping labels, and abandoned checkouts, which is where you can track sessions in which something was added to cart, delivery information was typed in, but for some reason, the person did not follow through with the order and the purchase was abandoned at the stage. The great thing about this is that you can then set up automated emails inside Shopify to try and recover each abandoned checkout. Next, we have the products section, which is where you can add and manage your products, collections, inventory, any manual purchases from suppliers, inventory transfers, and gift cards. If we click on add product, you'll see that setting up product listings is quite simple. You'll have a title, a description box, a drag and drop arrangement of product images, pricing and discounted prices, tax and inventory settings, shipping weights if applicable, variant options like size or color, and finally your search engine listing information which is laid out in a very straightforward and familiar way. Now, if you are running a fairly large business, Shopify has also been designed to simplify your scalability, so you will find tools such as automated inventory syncing and in-stock notifications. Then here on the side, we also have some additional internal product organization, such as which collections this product belongs to, product tags, and so forth. If we have a look right up here, we have the sales channels, so if you have set up an Instagram or a Facebook shop, for example, you can have this synced with your Shopify store automatically. And finally, we have the publishing status, which is found across multiple pages of Shopify. And this refers to whether or not this is ready to go live or remain unpublished as a draft. Moving on under customers is where you're able to collect contact details, email addresses, order amounts, then we have the content section, which allows you to keep all images and videos uploaded in one place. And down here, we also have the meta fields, which is something very useful Shopify has developed to help you add additional information to product pages that is not already given in the settings. So if you're selling clothes, for example, meta fields can be a great way to add size guide images to each product page. And in the analytics section, you will find very insightful data on how your store has been performing recently, including the number of sessions, conversion rates, average order value, sessions by location, device types, top landing pages, and more. Now, depending on the Shopify plan that you are on, there is a difference in how much you can customize your data reports. We'll get to that in a minute. 
Overall, the analytics section of Shopify is fantastic and I personally have not needed to use other tools like Google Analytics to gather extra data, though if you did want to do that, Shopify will seamlessly connect to Google Analytics and also to Facebook Pixel if you're running Facebook ad campaigns, for example. Now, a super nice feature included in Shopify is the live view, which I find a very interactive and exciting way to have a look at throughout the day. It will show you how many visitors you have in your store at this very moment, plus some additional information, which is updated automatically roughly every 10 minutes. Moving over, we have the marketing section, which offers a way to create automated email sequences and newsletters inside Shopify. Here you're going to find various templates to redesign and a list of ongoing marketing activities with its results. Some templates included are cart abandonment emails, welcoming new subscribers, first purchase upsells, and many others. Now, of course, you can edit the triggers of these automations. Everything is laid out in a very visual way, so it's not too complicated. And there are tons of possibilities that can be used to enhance your marketing strategy. There are also designed newsletter templates for sale announcements, new arrivals, and many others. I will say the email features are pretty impressive and I definitely find that a big advantage of using Shopify. Softwares for email automations tend to cost quite a bit extra, so it's very convenient to have all of this in one place without having to pay an extra cost. The entire setup does an excellent job at providing the exact features needed in order to grow any new business. Moving over to the next section, we have discounts, where you will find multiple ways to create discount codes and manage their activities. And then we have the online store section, which is where you're able to access the theme editor and also a catalog of both free and paid themes. We'll be having a closer look at Shopify's theme editor in just a moment. Now, Shopify also offers a blog post section, pages, which is where you'll add shipping and returns pages, perhaps an About Us page or any additional landing pages. Under Navigation, Shopify has added a pretty easy, intuitive way to create navigation menus, including nested menus with multiple subcategories. Under Preferences is where you can edit your search engine visibility and manage pixel integrations such as Google Analytics, Facebook pixels, and customer privacy settings. Shopify also makes it very easy to integrate with other sales channels such as Meta and Google. Synchronizing with these platforms is straightforward. All you have to do is log into your account and enable the integrations. And if you are drop shipping, Shopify will also automatically sync with most supplier platforms very easily. This can be done by using Shopify apps. What you would need to do is add your supplier's app via Shopify's App Store and enable the synchronization. Aside from dropshipping, Shopify apps can also be used to add an extra layer of functionality to your online store. For example, Search and Discovery allows you to personalize complementary products. You'll also find apps for store currency conversions and other interactive ways to enhance your online store. A very popular app is the Spinning Discount Wheel, which creates a very interactive and gamified experience for your customers. Now let's talk about web design. Inside Shopify, under Online Store, you will find the Theme Editor, which is an intuitive drag and drop builder made for designing your online store. Once again, Shopify is great for beginners and does not require any coding knowledge in order to design a website. The Theme Editor is very intuitive. If you do prefer coding though, Shopify also allows for that. The possibilities are very large and there is little limitation to be found on how you can customize your store. Another great feature of Shopify is the mobile responsiveness of the themes. Every theme will automatically adapt to different screen sizes without you having to rebuild the entire thing on mobile view. Of course, you can customize the mobile version if there are any changes you'd still like to make, though most of it is usually very well adapted without any necessary changes. Now, if we go back to the dashboard, down here we'll find the back-end settings of Shopify, which is where you can manage shipping profiles, 
inventory locations, taxes, selling regions, checkout settings, domains, and more. I will not go into any crazy details here, though I will say that the settings are extremely capable. Shipping rates can be customized not just by locations but also by product types, and you can also set up more complex shipping calculations based on product weights, packaging, etc. Depending on your Shopify plan, you can also enable live shipping calculations. As for payments, Shopify offers many different integration options, including of course some of the most popular ones like PayPal, Apple Pay, Amazon, and so forth. Shopify also takes care of the payment processing automatically, so everything operates very easily once you've set up your account. And whenever necessary, placing refunds is also a very simple process. Now to wrap up this review, we are going to have a look at pricing. Just a quick reminder, if any of these options speak to you, you will find the best current Shopify deal linked in the description. It will take you to a 3-day free trial and an offer of only $1 for the first 3 months of whatever plan you choose. So make sure to find that link in the description when you're ready to sign up. Now Shopify comes with 3 main plan options. Basic, Shopify and Advanced. There are also three other custom solutions down here, but first, let's have a look at the main ones. First and foremost, we have the basic plan at $25 per month. This is the plan I'll most likely be recommending if you're starting a new business. It includes all of Shopify's essential features and basic data reports, which are essential for growing and progressing with your business. With the basic plan, you can have up to 1,000 inventory locations, which is referring to the addresses or places where your products are stocked at. So if you have more than one facility or office where your products are being shipped from, each of these addresses will count as an inventory location. And as you can see, all of the other plans also offer up to 1,000 inventory locations. It's more than enough. Now the basic plan also includes two staff accounts, so two people or team members who can be inside the platform. So if you are working by yourself, this should be perfect. However, if you are a bigger company and want to have multiple team members inside Shopify, then you might want to consider one of the other options. And just to clear any doubts, the basic plan does include all the essential features I've talked about in this video. The demonstration that I've been making is in the basic plan. It is all you will need to launch and run your store. The difference between the basic plan and the other plans has more to do with extra features in the analytics sections, growth tools that are useful for larger companies, and a few other additional benefits. Then we have the Shopify plan at $65 per month, which is the middle option here. So the differences in this plan are the data reports and staff accounts. You can have up to five team members inside the platform simultaneously instead of only two, and the data reports have additional metrics. So if you are working with a team of three to five people, then you might want to consider this option. Now, if you are running your business just by yourself or with one more person, and you are wondering about these data reports and if they are worth the extra cost, Start by asking yourself how much you are currently relying on additional data in order to continue growing. If it's a big yes, I need that data, then upgrading to the Shopify plan might be worth considering. Then finally, we have the advanced Shopify plan at $399 per month, which comes with a custom report builder and up to 15 staff accounts. So clearly this is an option for larger businesses with frequent data reporting and larger teams. Down here we also have the alternative solutions, so let's have a look at the starter plan. The starter plan goes for $5 per month and it gives you the possibility to sell on social media platforms and messaging apps. Now the difference between this and the basic plan is that the starter does not give you a website builder. It's a very simple online store template including product pages, a contact page and checkout, nothing else. So if you are on a lower budget and you plan on marketing mainly on social media, then this might be a good solution to get started and then possibly upgrade to basic as you grow. Note that with the starter plan, you will not have a theme editor, you will not be able to add additional landing pages or have much control over your SEO. 
We also have the Shopify Plus plan at $2,000 a month, which is clearly meant for high volume businesses experiencing massive growth. This plan offers personalized and dedicated support for your store, so Shopify would actually assign you with a launch engineer to help set up your entire store for you. It also comes with more theme customization options and access to liquid files in your theme. With the Shopify Plus plan, you can also have unlimited staff accounts and a few exclusive integrations. Finally, we have the Commerce Components plan, which allows you to custom build the features you'd like to have. All in all, I recommend you get started with the basic plan. It will give you all the essentials needed to launch, start selling and growing. So I'm going to go ahead and leave a link down below, taking you to the best current offer for getting started. It's a deal of only $1 for the first three months, which means you get to save quite a bit of money and possibly start selling without even having to spend on a subscription beforehand. So go on ahead, create your account, and once you are ready, I recommend you go and watch this video. It's a full online store setup tutorial to help you build and launch your Shopify store as smoothly, easily, and quickly as possible. Before you go, I also want to quickly mention that I have created a super valuable free resource to help you in your e-commerce journey. It's a digital magazine bundle featuring a branding guide and a marketing guide. I've chosen some of the coolest and most successful Shopify stores that I've come across and I've broken them down into segments of what they're doing right so you can follow their footsteps to create your own success story. It's loaded with top knowledge marketing tips and tons of inspiring ideas for your online store. This free download also includes a branding guide packed with concepts, definitions, tips and ideas on how to create a successful brand from scratch. You'll find both of these resources available for free in the description. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. It'll be super appreciated. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.